the site of gymnastics. And the point man for our coverage, none other than Kevin Harlan. Last night, all eyes were on Russian Svetlana Horkina as she went for another gold in the uneven bars. Tonight, who will find themselves on the pedestal of gold as the women compete in the balance beam? An empty feeling has come over men's Olympic champion Alexei Nemov. Shut out of gold in these games, he makes his final bid tonight. And rhythmic gymnastics take to the floor with their style and grace for the ball and hoop. Day three has arrived at gymnastics with great performances on Thursday and more promised tonight from the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Center. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with three-time Olympian and gold medalist Dominique Dawes and Olympic gold medalist Bart Connor. Last night, the women dazzled on the bars. Tonight, it's time for the men. And we should see a terrific final featuring three of the finalists from the Sydney Olympics. But the best bet is really with Huang Xu from China. The Chinese men have dominated the parallel bars for the last several years. For the Americans, Jason Furr will compete. He was subpar last night on the rings and on the vault. He has a great routine on the parallel bars from a 10-0 start value. So if he can nail one, it might be his last chance to get a medal here. Oh, it should be terrific. Let's now swing to the women's side. We're familiar with artistic gymnastics, but tonight we're going to see rhythmic gymnastics. What's the difference? Well, there's many differences between those two sports, but the most obvious difference has to do with upper body strength. Artistic gymnasts are very strong in their upper body. They have to worry about power moves on the bars as well as flips. Rhythmic gymnasts do not. They focus on flexibility moves and balances, and that's just an obvious difference that everyone will see. Well, there's a lot going on tonight, and for more on that, over to the floor we go with D Lineham. Well, thanks much. The first apparatus we'll be seeing from the rhythmic gymnast will be the hoop. Now, the hoop routine requires the gymnast to demonstrate an even amount of leaps, pivots, flexibility, and balance, all using this apparatus. The other apparatuses focus in on any one of those elements. The two Russian gymnasts will be favored to take gold across the board, but the crowd favorite continues to be Eliza Gower, who hails from Brisbane, Australia. Last night, she had an entire section of her high school classmates cheering her on. They were yelling, that's our very, very flexible friend, and their support paid off as Eliza finished fifth overall in the women's all-around. Thank you, Dee. The hoop will be our first tonight for the women, and Irina Chashina from Russia, who won the gold in the all-around last night, will be up first. And she was absolutely, Dominique, spectacular last night. Yes, she was. She deserved to win gold last night. It was a wonderful competition. And in the two routine, it's a wonderful routine. As Dee just mentioned, they're going to be looking for an even distribution of the many elements, elements that the judges are looking for. Now, she plays second on this event at the 2001 European Championships. Talk about the judging requirements. This is a very technical sport. We'll try to point out some of the things the judges are looking for. There are actually three panels of judges. The jury A, they're interested in watching for technical requirements and artistic requirements. Each of those are scored on a basis of 0 to 10. The execution judges also have the opportunity to contribute 10 points to the final start by the maximum score a gymnast can get in rhythmic gymnastics is a perfect 30 as opposed to a perfect 10 in artistic gymnastics and while this is going on the men are getting ready for the parallel bars whatsoever during this routine. And if she misses one? There will be a big deduction. Beautiful combination. She's known for her excellent technique in her leaps. fit, Dominique, that many elements in such a short time, a minute and a half. You know, it's very difficult. As you see, she's about three seconds left. But it's a routine that she's worked for years and years. Terrific. 19-year-old Irina Kashina from Moscow.
is a roll combination right there, and she catches it on the side of her leg. Right there is the famous Russian coach Irina Viner. She is the dominant power in this highly political sport. Yes. The men's parallel bars. And up first, Marius Ruzica from Romania, born in Bucharest, five foot four. And he won the gold on the pommel horse already in these games. Well, he killed everybody on the pommel horse the other day. And he has a couple of moves here that are pretty spectacular. One move that he invented will show in this exercise right from the beginning. This move on the single rail is a required element. Oh, no, in trouble already. Bart, you won the gold in this event. Well, a long time ago, and the routine <laughs> that I did was nowhere near as difficult as the routine that the gymnasts have to do these days. There it is, right there. There's the Urzika. Oh, he's in trouble. Never quite got into the rhythm. Oh, that's unlucky. I'll tell you one thing the athletes have been complaining about all week long is the International Gymnastics Federation requires the athletes to warm up in some back room under different conditions. The lighting is different, the parallel bars are different, and many of the athletes are having difficulty coming out here on the floor. They haven't been, even been on these parallel bars today, and yet they have to perform up on the podium under these lights, and the athletes don't like these new changes for sure. And for Arena Chashina from Russia, 28.525. Our first competitor. And up next will be Simona Pecheva from Bulgaria, 16-year-old, 5'3". And she won the bronze in the all-around, Dominique. Yeah, she's a new up-and-comer on the scene of rhythmic gymnastics, and she had a wonderful hoop routine yesterday. It's interesting, she says her favorite gymnast is her chief rival here, Irina Chashina, who just went. She was sixth on this event of the 2001 European Championships. known for her flexibility as well as her good technique and quickness. Nice combination. The judges are definitely watching to see how she uses the apparatus. She's using it quite well, tossing it, rolling, catching with her arm, her leg, her neck. Performance. The daughter of a banker in Bulgaria, Simona Picheva. Here's a combination she just performed. Beautiful front walk over somersault into a back arch. Looks like her coach is Cher there for <laughs> <laughs> I got you, babe. <laughs> Maria Zerzika from Romania with an 8-8 as our first competitor. Now, up next from Russia, 23-year-old Alexei Fondarenka. And he won the bronze in the men's floor exercise a couple nights ago. Of course, won five medals in 98. Goodwill Games in New York. He has a terrific routine. Judges look for elements in five different categories. 
A move like this. Utilizing one single rail. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no. He took an extra swing. It was going so nicely. It's so difficult these days for the gymnasts to fulfill the requirements. Many of the coaches and gymnasts feel that the current rules are just too hard. Every four years after the Olympics, they rewrite the rule book and demand a higher level, and the changes this particular time have been very dramatic. His gymnastics support his entire family. His father is retired, as is his mother. This is a terrific angle over the top to see him work the single rail. Working on one bar like this is a requirement, as well as moves on top of the bars, below the bars. Beautiful back toss and a pike double back somersault combination. He's so well known for clean execution. Unfortunately, that extra swing will cost him dearly. He was third on this event at the 98 Goodwill Games in New York City. An 8-9-6-2 for Botarenko as we continue with day three of gymnastics from Brisbane. at Rhythmic Gymnastics here in the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Center. And for Simona Pecheva from Bulgaria, a 27.3, currently in second place. And now Aussie Kate Riley is on the floor, 15 years old. She finished in the all-around eighth last night. She was the 2001 Australian Senior Championship. She won the bronze medal in that event. Australian and Eliza Gower, who will be performing a little bit later on. Favorites here in Brisbane. The men's parallel bars continues from Canada. Alexander Jeltkov, 23 years of age. Born in the former Soviet Union, his family then moved to Israel. They settled in Montreal, Quebec, and thus he represents Canada. Been living there since 14 years of age. His best event and most of his success has come on the high bar, but he has a good routine here as well. Five feet nine, 165 pounds. This guy's a giant for a gymnast. A head taller than many of the other athletes in the competition. Oh, little off. Good save there. That's a mark of a great gymnast. When they're a little bit off, they can pull it back into position. All right, not a bad routine. Not as much difficulty as we'll see from some of the other athletes. But... In terms of execution, a clean routine. So that single bar work. Straddle press back to a handstand. Really nice body line. Important that the handstand is straight and clean. His best event is the high bar, which is coming up. And Kay Riley with a 24-775. Currently in third. Now 17-year-old Ukrainian Anna Besenova. Her first Goodwill Games appearance. Anna was actually the alternate for the Sydney 
2000 Olympic team. Last night of the all-around, she finished fourth. soccer team. Her mother, Victoria, was a member of the Soviet Union World Championship winning group rhythmic team. And her mother is still involved in coaching and in administration in sports in the Ukraine. Nice jump and turn combination right there. She trains with a legend in the sport, Irina Dyrugina. Mother and daughter coaching team. They've created so many of the great champions. Marina herself is a world champion back in 1979. Senova from the Ukraine. Of course, originality is an important aspect of this sport, and that was a very clever finish. Right now, she's tossing the hoop, and she literally jumps through it and does a wonderful element that the judges are looking for. Kevin, you've been jumping through a lot of hoops here all week, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, you guys have been holding them real nicely. <laughs> Alexander Jetkov with a 8-6-2-5. Next up from the United States, born in Fairfax, Virginia, resides now in Houston, Texas, Jason Furr. Fresh off a performance at the World University Games in Beijing, China. This guy can fly. Watch this right here. Beautiful. We talked about this earlier. He is an extremely gifted athlete. Earlier in the games, he finished sixth in the men's vault. Uh-oh. He's modifying this exercise a little bit. There you go. Oh, no, oh. man. Wow. Man, he's lucky he's okay. It's unusual that you catch a leg on a dismount like that. Whew. His coach there, Kevin Majika, coaches him down there in Houston. After about the halfway point of this exercise, his rhythm was off, went here for a pike double back somersault. Ooh. Look at that, man. He is so lucky that even though he hit his leg, it didn't stop his rotation and let him land down on his head. He kept going. He plays second in this event at the 2001 U.S. Championships, but that will not be the case tonight here at the Goodwill Games in Brisbane for the United States' Jason Furr. We go to break. We come back with more parallel bars and rhythmic gymnastics for Brisbane. Say, uh, still waiting for Kevin Harlan to give me a Alexi name off as a flamethrower. <laughs> if he'd do something, I'd say it. <laughs> hey, why aren't there any Ernie Johnsons in this sport? <laughs> yeah, He's no too kidding. darn tall. <laughs> <laughs> Come out and join us sometime, Ernie. I'll be there. All right, great. Jason Furr on the parallel bars. You saw his score. 8525 with a crash landing. We'll see more from this young man in the future. He is extremely talented, goes for hard elements, high level of difficulty in all of his routines, and someday he's going to put it all together and be great. Back to rhythmic gymnastics. Hoop competition. Alina Kabayeva from Russia. This will be an interesting routine for her because in the all-around competition, she claims that when she threw the hoop up, it hit the ceiling lights, which caused her to falter during the performance. But she won the silver. Yes, she did. She won the silver last night. 2000 Olympics in Sydney, she also missed with the hoop routine. 
That cost her the all-around championship. She finished third. Oh, and again. Dominique, I think of all the performers in this particular exercise, she has the most charisma of anyone. Yes, she definitely does. The smile will definitely give her extra tense with the judges. Wonderful costume choice. But unfortunately, she has to be disappointed having made that same mistake in the all-around competition as well as in the Olympic Games. Over, by the way, from the Ukraine with the 26.925, currently in third. Kobayeva is certainly the most recognizable of all of the rhythmic gymnasts, well known for those incredible flexibility moves. That's true. When her first, when her coach first saw her, it was the flexibility moves that caught her eye. Dominique, so much ballet involved in this. Yeah, very, a lot of classical ballet. They're a lot more flexible than ballerinas. They have an extensive background in all these different kind of dances. Terrific finish. Elena Kabayeva from Russia. 18 years old, and she won this event at the 1998 Goodwill Games. She was suffering from flu-like sickness uh, after arriving in Brisbane, so it's good to see her up and begin with that wonderful smile on her face. She really goes for some difficult combinations. The judges, in terms of technical value, are looking for triple combination series like that. High level of difficulty in all of her now, exercises. Ladies and gentlemen, parallel bars. He's twice world champion. Now from Belarus, Ivan Ivankov, who placed fifth in this event at the 2000 Olympics and second at the 1998 Goodwill Games. Kevin, this could be a highlight tonight. He has the ability to do a terrific routine. He's already won a silver in these games uh -oh, on the men's rings. Excuse me there, a little bit of a form break and an important move. This is really one of the most difficult events of the six events for men to get a high start value. You really have to do some pretty insane stuff. <laughs> He's a real stylist, though. Always good rhythm and smooth presentation. He went for a hard routine, a couple of technical errors in there. Hurt his back a couple weeks ago, and you wonder if it still is bothering him. Yes, here is what we call a peach with a half. That's the move you used to do, right, Kevin? The, the peach. That yeah. was a peach of a move, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he follows it up with a straight arm peach handstand. Some funny names for some funny moves, but mm -hmm. technically he goes for a difficult combination there and finishes up with that giant to a double back. I want to see the Connor move. Is we going to see that here? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you that one later. <laughs> i got to warm up first. <laughs> Kabayeva with a 28.2 and currently in second place. So even though she had that little fleck in the ointment, Dominique, she still winds up with a pretty good slot. Yeah, she definitely was holding in there. Next up from Belarus is Valeria Batkina, 20 years old. And she finished seventh in the all-around last night and she was eighth all around at the 2000 olympic games in sydney very interesting selection of music she used it last night in one of her performances didn't yes she did vocals are not allowed and obviously because this individual is not saying a word it's not considered a vocal represents Belarus, but she's currently in the process of applying for Australian citizenship. 
She came with her father to Australia. Her father, the former coach of Ivan Ivankov, who we just saw on the Barrel of Ours, moved to Australia for a job down here to coach gymnastics. She came along and uh, is doing quite well and hopes to someday represent Australia in international competition. She says this may be her last competition for Belarus, exactly. How about age in this competition, Dominique? Does age play as much a factor in this as it does in other apparatus groups? I believe it does. Usually gymnasts peak at the age of about 15 or 16. They may peak a little bit later at 18 to 20. And with her age, she's keeping up quite well. She's 20. Nice leap combination right there. This is a highly technical sport. Are you an expert at this yet? <laughs> Got it down? Sitting next to you two, I've become one. <laughs> it's fun to watch. I've enjoyed it. Keep in mind, the judges are looking for technical value in terms of difficulties, artistic value, which is a combination of musicality and choreography. And, of course, execution is all important, and that, of course, relates to the precision of the movement. Yvonne Ivankov, number one, nine, five, eight, seven. He is our leader right now. And next up, from Russia, Nikolai Koryukov. He plays fourth on this event at the 1999 World Championships. And it was there where he was the world all-around champion in a surprise victory in a strong field. There were several athletes who made mistakes, and he was consistent, which is known to be his trademark. Had several injuries throughout his career. Torn Achilles, broken leg, knee ligament injuries. Wrist, broke a finger, finger yeah. Earlier this year on the parallel bars, in fact. Why the things around his biceps? Well, you're going to see here in a minute, he's going to do a move where he lands in his upper arms. Nice opening combination. Oh, this is a great exercise so far. Right there, that's why they wear those upper arm supports. This is a great exercise. Really precise, nailing the handstands. Tuck this mount coming up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. He's going right to first place with that. That was huge. Nikolai Kroyukov. The 22-year-old Russian, a two-time Olympian. Just great work. Over to the single rail. This is a really difficult dismount. Two flips forward and a half twist at the end, and he just drills it like a dart in a dartboard. Individual hoop from Russia, Chashnina, with a 28-5-2-5 through six participants. Yukov with a 9-4-5-0 men's parallel bars vaulting to second place so far. Back to rhythmic gymnastics, the hoop. And from Brisbane, Eliza Gower with her mom and dad, Michael and Nanette, watching. The crowd parents are obviously a huge favorite here. She is 15 years old. Yeah, this has to be a wonderful experience for Eliza, competing in her hometown, the crowd behind her, it's wonderful. And how many separate moves did you say, Dominique, the judges look for? It used to be 12 to 14, now it's 28 to 30 different elements. So same double. time frame? Same time they frame. They more than doubled it. Yes, they did, and a lot of judges or other coaches, for that matter, have complained a little bit, but the ruling's standing right now. Any of the officials in the sport feel like when you have to cram so many individual elements into an exercise, you don't have any time for choreography and 
presentation. It's just trick, 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 trick. Very little dance that's going to go on in between those tricks as well. At the Australian Championships, she placed second in this event. She's traveled all over the world to compete in rhythmic competitions. Japan, South Africa. She spent 10 days in Bulgaria. For many years, the Bulgarians were the dominant team in the sport of rhythmic gymnastics. Now it's currently the Russians, Ukrainians, and Belarus athletes that lead the field. As I spoke about earlier, flexibility elements is something that judges are looking for. And when I speak of flexibility elements, it's not just a hold in a 180-degree split. It's actually turns, leaps, anything showing over a 180-degree split. Eliza Gower from Australia. With the crowd parents watching on the side. D. Lynham told us earlier there was a great contingent here to cheer her on, and sure enough, as she walks out, you can hear the calls and applause from her. You see the banners and everything. Yeah, it's great. fun to see. Still in first place, Chashina for the hoop. Now coming up, Alexander Svetlichny from the Ukraine, a two-time Olympian. Ivan Kov is still our leader. I was a little surprised at the score for Kukov. Thought it was a little bit low. He's 29, Bart. Is that normally the age you see the guys yeah, competing that late? Getting to be ancient yeah. for a gymnast. Usually. Uh, Early to mid-20s is about as long as they last. But, you know, times are different now. Most of these gymnasts make their living. They're professional gymnasts. They travel around the world competing, doing exhibitions, making prize money, and supporting their families. How the sport has changed, huh? It has. We missed out on all the money, didn't we? Top landing for Svetlichny. Over his career, he's had several problems with his ankles, and so he has not been in his best in landings as well as tumbling and vaulting type routines. Talk about these guys supporting their families. Uh, many mm -hmm. of these guys come from countries where the average salary is a couple hundred dollars a month. So if they can win several thousand dollars at a competition like this, the Goodwill Games, they're going to compete as long as they can manage to keep their bodies together. Eliza Gower from Australia. Brisbane's hometown sweetheart, 25.175, currently number five. And now, America's Jessica Howard, 17 years old, from Jacksonville, Florida, finishing sixth in the all-around last night. Yesterday, Jessica had a little bit of problems with this event. You know, as I stated earlier, you have to submit a list of the elements you're going to do in your routine, and she left out a few of those elements. The judges know because they have the list right in front of them, so they gave her a big deduction. Such a delightful young lady. I spent some time talking with her. Terrific attitude about how challenging her sport is. Misqualifying for the 2000 Olympics in Sydney by one one thousandth of a point. And in the U.S., she's already built a legend. She has won the U.S. championships on this event for the past three years. You know, as I spoke about before, Rhythmic gymnasts focus a lot on classical ballet, but at the same time, Jessica also trains Pilates. It's helped her body stay fit, stay lean and firm, and it looks great. She's noted for having the European style of rhythmic gymnastics, which is a very balletic style. And they emphasize kind of a passionate presentation. She said she's flattered to be compared to the great European gymnasts. Jacksonville, Florida is a Frosina on 
Kuelova, former Bulgarian champion who moved to the States and uh, has done a nice job with Jessica. Beautiful routine. The daughter of an Episcopalian bishop from Jacksonville, Jessica Howard. And there's a handstand and a little bit of a walkover move. Quite similar to artistic gymnastics. As you take a look at Alexander Svetlichny from the Ukraine, currently fifth, 8750. Now, here is Wong Xu from Beijing, China. The defending Goodwill Games champion on this event. Who already has a silver Bart in the men's pommel. The score to beat is 9-5-8-7 from Ivan Ivankov. Oh, nice. Talk about the Chinese dominance in parallel bars. Really powerful mechanics. Beautiful form in that pike double back somersault, catching an upper arm support. Moves to upper arm support like that are required by the judges, as well as moves on top of the bars and below the bars. Oh, right on top of that single rail. Uh-oh. Form break and a step in the handstand. That's at least two tenths of a point. And another tenth there. It's an extremely difficult routine, and on that basis, he'll have a high degree of difficulty value from the judges, but he gave away some mechanical and execution errors. Unusual to see, after such a beautiful sequence, that he made an error just on the easiest move in the routine. Pressing up to a handstand and steps forward, feet come apart, and has to adjust. Made all the hard stuff and missed the easy one. It appears that our winner is Ivan Ivankov. You never know about these judges these days. Yeah, exactly, though. that's for sure. Chashina from Russia, 28.525. We'll finish it off, and so she will win her second gold as Jessica Howard finishes with 24.925. And in sixth place, two golds for Shashina. And Wong Shu with a 9675. Does that surprise you? Well, with those slight form breaks, I was surprised that he was able to pull that off, but he had so much difficulty in the routine. That counts for a ton. Let's send it up. Let's send it off to Ernie Johnson. <laughs>